Now let's move on to the next tab, the Consults tab. Consults are requests from one clinicalty specialty to another. Usually these requests are for specialty services to come see the patient or evaluate current patient data and provide a clinical opinion. Additionally, consults may be generated from one VA hospital to another if a test is unable to be performed at this hospital. Once we've opened our consults tab, you'll see in the upper left window all the consults entered for this patient. Each item includes the date, status of the consult in parentheses, and the name of the consulting service. The status of the consult next to the date is listed as active, A, pending, P, complete, C, scheduled, DC, which is discontinued, and X, canceled. The status is changed by the receiving service once they act on the consult. We can collect, select a consult by clicking on it in the upper left window. When we've clicked on one, you'll, if there's any related notes written by the consult provider, we'll see these at the bottom left side of the screen. And you can click on that to see the note. The right side of the screen shows the consult as it was requested, which includes when the consult was ordered, and why it was ordered, and what someone did with it when they received it. Below this information, you can read any comments providers have made throughout the progress. And that'll show up at the bottom of your screen here with the, the time, date, and provider name. When a consult is completed, an alert is sent to the ordering provider notifying him or her of the status. You can also see the related notes that providers have written that'll show up at the larger bottom portion of this screen. Now we can select View from the gray menu bar at the top of the screen to search consults by selecting the order we would like the consult list to appear. For example, we can select All Consults, which is my current view here. We can do Consults by Status, and we can pick the status we'd like to view the consults. We can do consults by service, and we can choose the service or provider group that we want to look for, or we can do consults by date range, and we can choose a beginning date and an end date. As students, you likely will not be tracking interfacility consults, adding any comments, alerting recipients, or adding any new consults, but you will continue to use and learn more about these as you progress.